Today, the city of Houston's Humane Pet Store ordinance goes into effect. It requires pet stores that sell puppies to only get them from humane sources like animal shelters and private rescues. The law comes as pet stores are increasingly under scrutiny for selling animals that come from puppy mills. KPRC 2's Lisa Hernandez spoke with animal advocates about why the change is so important. The U.S. Humane Society says their undercover video from a 2019 North Texas investigation in Frisco shows puppies inside a Petland store suffering from mistreatment and rampant disease. These are conditions animal advocates say are common in pet stores when animals are coming from puppy mills. The goal of the breeder is not to humanely care for the animals, it's to make a profit. And so lots of times those animals are not healthy. They wind up with um, diseases. They become sick later on in life. Lovey Langston says she purchased a one pound Maltese puppy from a Houston Petland store in 2021. One hour she'll be okay, the next minute she's lethargic. Langston says there were health issues from day one. She was staggering, falling over, uh, very fatigued. Little Ziva was regularly having seizures, she says, and her veterinarian told her the puppy had severely infected stitches from a repaired hernia. Langston says she was never told of the dog's medical history and demanded a refund. When that wasn't allowed, she says she did her best to care for Ziva at home. The dog ended up dying months later after yet another seizure. 18 months later, Langston says she's still paying off the thousands of dollars plus interest it costs to buy the puppy. It makes me feel so relieved and happy that they could not do this to no one else again. Langston says the new ordinance is a step in the right direction. Houston Pet Set, which advocated for the change, says with the conditions puppy mill animals have to endure and with our local shelters having to euthanize healthy animals for space, it's the right thing to do. Why are we destroying um, animals and then importing them at the same time? The only people kind of negatively affected by this ordinance are the organizations that are looking to make money off the backs of animals. We did reach out to the Houston Petland location for comment regarding the health of their animals and are awaiting a response. Houston now joins cities like Austin, San Antonio and Dallas in passing ordinances banning the sale of pets that come from puppy mills. Lisa Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.